Hi, it's Dougie from Valto. In this video, we'll address the very common question, are power apps free? Now, this question entirely depends on what type of power app that it is you're talking about, as there are different types. In this video, I'll explain the different types of apps and the license implications. Now, to work with power apps of any type, you will need a license of some description. Now, there are two different types of power apps plan licenses. The first one is the plan one, which is included in most of the Microsoft 365 subscriptions. So if you've already got something like a business basic or business standard business premium license, or even an E3 or an E5 enterprise license, um, you will have uh, the power apps plan one included with that. Um, if you don't already have those licenses, you can get them as low as uh, as five dollars a month, or that's three pound eighty pence um, per month, and that's at the time of recording. The the licenses may change, so it is worth checking the Microsoft website on a frequent basis. The Office 365 uh, data is included with the sort of Power Apps Plan One, so you can interact with kind of email, SharePoint data, OneDrive data, and things like that. Uh, you can use non-premium connectors, so again, you can connect to Office 365, as well as third-party connections as well, which offer that free service. You can build Canvas apps, which we're going to come on to talk about in a moment. And that's the first type of application that we can we can use under this plan. Uh, there's also the ability to have offline capabilities, so having uh, apps which people can use out and about uh, on, on the road, uh, and as well as data policies as well to govern that data and make sure that it's not uh, accidentally exposed. What it will exclude, though, is things like the premium data connectors. So if you want to do things like connecting to SQL databases, if you want to do things like running HTTP requests um, to connect to APIs, uh, you're going to require a premium Power Apps Plan 2 license instead. Now, the first app which is included with the Plan 1 license is a Canvas Power Apps. Now, these are perfect for digitally transforming your business processes uh, with using low-code platform. Now, what that means is that people who don't even necessarily need to have a programming background will be able to build these applications really simply. They all have a really easy drag-and-drop kind of interface, and Microsoft are really... Um, promoting the idea of citizen developers, which are people who don't necessarily have these programming languages, but maybe they've got a, a sort of a strong background in Excel. Now, these low code solutions, these Canvas Power Apps, are built with the exact same formulas which you get inside of Excel. So you tend to find people from a kind of finance background really pick these up very quickly. Now, not strictly Power Apps, but what the other um, element that is included in those type of licenses are is a product called Power Automate. This was previously called Flow. Now, this is all about improving efficiency by automating kind of manual tasks. So you can build things like approval workflows, reminders, or just automating those repetitive tasks, uh, which take up a lot of time uh, for people on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a workflow engine, so it's got a nice and easy, as we can see on the screen, drag and drop interface where we can... Uh, have a start, uh, which is triggered by maybe like a new email comes in or a new document is added. Um, and then that can go through different types of actions, um, which you can automate, um, say things like sending out emails, posting into Teams or creating documents. And that can all be achieved inside the Power Automate uh, workflow. Now, the second type of Power Apps license is the Power Apps Plan 2 license. Now, this is when you want to use more of those um, premium features. Um, so there's things like model-driven apps, as well as Power Apps portals, that you will require a Plan 2 license to use. If you want to use the Common Data Service, which is the uh, very large um, database within Office 365, which has a bunch of different kind of tables and entities pre-created for you, again, you will need a Plan 2 license to do that. Now, there's a couple of different types of uh, th this license, but the, the basic Plan 2 is around £7.50 per user per month. You'll get up to um, two main kind of business apps, as well as one of the portals, which we're going to come on to talk about. And then below is all the different kind of f additional features you'll get with this, including things like um, premium connectors uh, uh, to connect to things like um, SQL or make those kind of AT, uh, API HTTP calls. 
So the first app which is included with that Plan 2 license is the model-driven power apps. Now these integrate directly with your business data uh, on mobile-friendly apps, which create really nice, really um, fancy-looking kind of KPI dashboards like we can see here, which are accessible on all your different devices. Uh, model-driven apps start with your kind of data and you model it up from there. Uh, and you can shape that um, sort of data to make it into your own kind of view of different dashboards. Um, and it's a very quick way of generating that kind of UI. Um, they're very easy to set up. Again, it's a drag and drop. Those components are just controls on the page and they're much quicker to set up than a Canvas app. Although a Canvas app gives a lot more um, ability to customize and make something bespoke, uh, model-driven apps are much more about quickly uh, visualizing your data. The next type of plan to uh, power app is portals. Now this is where, uh, if you wanted to create a external or anonymous um, access type of website where people such as suppliers or customers, so you could create a uh, supplier portal where your suppliers can log in. Um, they can use things like their um, LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter account to authenticate with that. And then you can provide them certain uh, information, show them where uh, kind of potential um, proposals are up to and things like that. Um, or maybe it's a customer portal where they can log in and they can see where their order's up to. They can submit requests. But essentially, Power Apps Portals allows organizations to create websites which can be shared with users externally. Um, and that can be completely anonymous. You can just send them a URL and they can just access that. Or they can log in with a authenticated uh, account such as like their LinkedIn account, a Microsoft account, a Twitter, Facebook, and there's, there's a whole host of other types of ways that they can authenticate directly to your portal. So in summary, you must have a license that covers your chosen power app. If you've got any questions about power apps and power apps licensing, please do uh, contact me with any of your license questions. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you need help, we do offer professional services, including bespoke development, pre-built solutions, training packages, and a pay-as-you-go support service, which bridges those knowledge gaps within your existing team. All of our employees are based in the UK and have years of experience deploying solutions with small businesses, as well as large enterprise organizations. We offer a free consultation with a no obligation quotation. If this all sounds good, drop us an email Ask for Dougie and I look forward to hearing from you soon.